What's going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are here. We are super excited because it is finally time. You remember when this set came out? We are finally <laughs> here for our Strixhaven School of Mages Wife Finance Hus Bundle Battle. Now, you may be asking yourself, if you're new here, the hell is a Wife Finance Hus Bundle Battle? And first of all, thanks so much for clicking on the video if you have no idea what it is. But second of all, what it is is we decided to do bundle battles. And we used to do fat pack battles and then bundle battles. Um, when we were fiancés, and so we called them fiancé finance bundle battles, but then we got married, and it was like, well, husband and wife finance bundle battle didn't sound right, but it's a wife finance hus bundle battle. So what we do is we each open a bundle. So for example, this one is Amy's, and I'll pass that over to her. You keep that safe. Thank you. You're welcome. And this one is mine. And what we're going to do is, as I open, I will explain to you, we're going to open these bundles. Obviously, there are the contents of the bundles, which I will show you in case you are unaware of what is in a bundle. Uh, Amy will then be able to not have to show you what's in hers besides the contents of the packs, because that is the only thing that will be different. It's bundly. That's what. Yeah. Ooh, it does have the full image. So we showed you this already, if you were following the channel, which you should do. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell, everybody. Uh, you would have seen this already on this channel, but this is the full collage of all of the different arts from the uh, colleges that was included in the pre-release packs, which you can see in the background there. Um, and this, the little in individual versions depending on which college you were with, came with each individual pre-release pack, and then we were able, when we finally opened all ten of them, to put them all together, um, and so you should and definitely go check basically build this. Yeah, exactly, which, you know, it's a hell of a lot easier to just show you this, but, I mean, where's the fun in that, right? We actually, you know, put forth the effort and etc. So this is pretty sweet. I like that. Uh, so we'll leave that off to the side. There's obviously uh, art on the inside of here. It's not perfect to be able to be seen, but... Um, no, you can't see that. Debate duelists. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, swamp. Punks. It's like the different, like, teams of the schools, I think. Oh. Art club. It's upside down. <laughs> Art club and rock jocks and stuff like that, so that's actually really cool. If you, if you were to pull apart this seam here, you could basically turn that into, like, a poster. Um... Which I'm not going to do, but, you know, we, uh, someone else who owns this could do that. There's a little uh, thing on the bottom, which is basically just to, like, raise this box up so that it fits inside of the container. But they say that you can, like, you could put dice in here or whatever you want to do. I never do that, but it does exist. Here is the box, which looks pretty, pretty cool on the sides and the, yeah, the sides here. Um, but it's cooler on the top, so if you open it up and look at the top... It's actually got all the symbols of all of the colleges. Did I do it? I did it. I didn't even mean to. What? Look at the background. No fucking way. Look at this order. I see. And then look at that order. I didn't do it on purpose, I promise. Although it's, you know, it wasn't like it's see. Th oh, no, it's not see through. Because the top of the bundles, which were wrapped before we started, look like this. So that's hilarious. I did not do that on purpose. I did, you know what I did try to do though was um, I tried to have it in Wooburg order, but because they're two colors, I picked part white, part bla uh, blue, part black, part red, part green. And so that's why I ended up putting it that way or in that order. But it, it ended up working out. I did the exact same thing. Look at that. Call me Joe Stradamus, everybody. Uh, we're going to leave that on the side. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Uh, and then inside of the bundle, I'm I'm not sorry. Uh, inside of the Should bundle, be. I'm not. We have the packs, which is what we are here to care about. Because when we open these packs, I didn't really finish my thought earlier, I guess. When we open these packs, uh, there are going to be cards inside of them. And some of those cards have value to them. And basically what we will do is I'll open mine, Amy will open hers, and then whoever has opened more value by the end has quote-unquote won uh, and gets bragging rights for that. Oh! <laughs> there is the pack of the basic lands, unaltered basic lands, from this set. Those can go back in the box because we don't need those for now. There is the foil alt art archmage emeritus. Ooh, that looks really pretty. Very cool. So, 
This certainly has value as well, although because we both get one, it's easier to um, not count it. We don't have to worry about taking it out of the package, etc. And then typically these are uh, foil basics as well behind it. So there's that. Um, and then you have these little like insert cards and like how to play the game, how to cast spells, attack and blocking, etc. Advertisement type things, which is fair. Um, let's talk for a second about the value in this set. Because what we typically do is, it's not just every card. I'm not sitting here totaling up, you know, this is a five cent common and you had 10 of those and I had four of them. No, we are only counting cards that are worth a dollar or more and that is tcgplayer.com market price at the time of recording, which by the way, if you look at the date of this video down below, it is the day before this video comes out that we are filming it. So we are trying to be as current as possible. Uh, so if you're on, if you're looking at pricing at the point that you're watching this video and you're like, no, that's not right, realize when we filmed this and uh, uh, count that accordingly. Uh, there are 64 cards in contention that are over a dollar or more, or sorry, are a dollar or more uh, at the time of recording. 64, and that does not count foil, that does not count borderless, that does not count um, extended art, that does not count foil etched or anything like that, or foil in general, none of that. Uh, this is quite possibly the most valuable set at the time of recording that I think we've opened Yeah. Uh, for bundles. And we are counting Mystical Archives. There are 26 Mystical Archive cards that are over a dollar, and there are 38 regular cards that are worth more than a dollar, um, and that includes three uncommons, a token, which is somewhat typical, and a common, which is not typical of these things at all. So that is very interesting to me. I'm super uh, excited to see what we get into today. So I will start with a Spiteful Squad, a Teach by Example, Thrilling Discovery, Arrogant Poet, Stone Rise Spirit, Frost Trickster, First Day of Class, Charge Through, Inkling Summoning, Ether Helix, gorgeous art, not on the list, but still very cool art on this card. A Reduce to Memory for a Lesson, and an Honor Troll. <laughs> so fun. Uh, and so our first, or my first, I, I always say our because I'm used to doing that. Welcome to it. Uh, technically, Amy and I are in competition, but you know, we live together, spouses, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, hey, our first rare or mythic is Poet's Quill. I love the art. I love yeah. the flavor, it's pretty cool. Uh, it isn't on the list, but you know, it's a thing. My Mystical Archive card is a Cultivate. Ooh. Also not on the list, but hey, cool card nonetheless. Behind Cultivate, wow, a foil rare in Hall of Oracle. Look at that so foiling, cool. holy crap. Wow, a foil rare in my first pack. Now. This, the Hall of Oracles non-foil is not on the list, so I can't guarantee that this would be over a dollar, but with foils and alt arts and borderless and et cetera, because there's like, I, I'm not sitting there and writing all that down. I will look it up later, don't you worry. So I don't know if this is on the list, but I will leave it on the side to check up on. And then behind it, we have a treasure token. Very nice, with um, Strixhaven. Study up on the story of Strixhaven. And you know what else you can do? You can you can go to mtgstory.com. You're more than welcome to do that. But the other thing that you can do is check out this channel where we reviewed all of the Strixhaven stories. All of them. All ten of them or wherever, however many it was. Um, and you can go check those out for yourself. Maybe I will have it linked up there in the top corner for you. I should go check it out. It was a good time. Next we have a Silver Quill Pack with Killian on the front. Oh no. Open. There we go. I did it. Okay. We start with a Prismari Pledge Mage. A Silver Quill Campus. Rise of Extus. God, I love this card so much. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> Another Spiteful Squad. I like that card too. Defend the Campus. A Waterfall Aerialist. Sudden Breakthrough. Bayou Groff. He's eating your pest. Yeah, but he's eating your pest friend. He's not eating him. He's going to. 
No, he's trying to scare him. He's just going, <laughs> rawr! <laughs> and then my pest friend will say, get away from me. Is that what he's doing with his mouth wide open like that? Not going, oh, God, I'm going to die! And then the gruff will say, okay. <laughs> and he'll swim away. There you go, everybody. You don't have to watch our uh, or read any of the magic stories anymore. You just heard the best one. Okay. We have an essence infusion. Yeah. An introduction to prophecy. I, I know you love this art so much. Yeah, I really do. Really gorgeous art. Uh, and a bookworm is my first uncommon. <gasps> so cool. <laughs> he's hungry. He's hungry? Yeah. That's because he's eating paper. It's not very filling or nutritious yeah. in any way. Uh, a reconstruct history and an academic dispute. Cool colors on this one as well. Yeah, are those like pages of a book? Correct, yeah, because they're so coming cool. out of the pages and then swirling around to go attack that person. So cool. Yeah, it is. Uh, and so my next rare mythic is a Verdant Mastery. Ooh. Gorgeous art on this one as well. Uh, also not on the list, so, you know, there's that, I suppose. Spirograph. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and my next Mystical Archive card is a Shock. Also not on the list. Interesting. With 64 cards, you'd think I would have one by now. Again, possible Hall of Oracles, but that wouldn't be on the 64. Uh, I love this art so much. On the shock? Yeah. It's very good. Very, very it, good. It just looks straight out of a comic book. Yeah. Again, a lot of these Mystical Archive arts, they they went in on these. Uh, the the changes to the art is probably the best part, or the, like, not the changes to the art, but the their willingness to experiment and go different than they usually do with the arts is probably the best part of them doing all these, like, alt art and, like, different things and craziness. Yeah. That's, that's probably the best thing to come from that. Behind Shock is uh, one of the stand-in cards for if you're using a modal double-faced card without a sleeved deck. Hey, it's uh, your friend. It's Dina. Yeah. Okay, a.k.a. from Witherbloom. Okay, come on now. Now, because it's a draft booster, we have the draft archetypes, which is nice. I'm glad that they uh, did that. That's always really cool. We have a Needlethorn Drake to start. Archway Commons. Ogyar Battleseer. Yeah. Scurred Colony. Yeah. <laughs> I know you love the Scurred Colony. Yeah, look at how badass they look. <laughs> they look terrifying. They definitely have rabies. Yeah, a little bit. An Arrogant Poet, Stone Rise Spirit, Frost Trickster, that combo looks familiar, First Day of Class, Fractal Summoning is the lesson here. Mm. Zimone, Quandrix Prodigy, is our first uncommon. She's adorable. She's so cute. <laughs> we have Solve the Equation. Guess what, folks? My first card definitely on the list is an uncommon. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, it is up there somewhere. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, it's number eight. It's the eighth most expensive, like, non-special card in the entire set. That's more than some mythics, most mythics, in fact. So, yeah. Uh, solve the equation. On the list. It counts. Thank you very much. And a returned past caller as well. Uh, and so my next rare or mythic is... Really cool art. Very, very cool. I like it a lot. <laughs> A Culling Ritual, mm. also on the list, if I recall correctly. Um, it is just not very high. Oh, it is very high up there. It's number 11. Very, very nice. I like it quite a bit. And again, two cards on the list in the same pack. Let's see if we can make it three. My Mystical Archive card is... A Divine Gambit definitely cannot make it three. Uh, <laughs> Divine Gambit, not on the list, and I do not like this card. Uh, the art is fine. Uh, and then behind it, I do have a foil. It is a foil uncommon in Access Tunnel. Look at that Whoa. foil. That's also sick. What the heck? <laughs> it looks so good. Awesome. They did such a great job on all of these foils and all of these arts. Yeah, and... yeah, really, really good. Maybe that's why the, the set is so <laughs> worth so much money, because they can tell that they put so much effort into it. This is sweet. Uh, again, with all foils and all alt arts and anything like that, I'll put them to the side and look it up. But um, but yeah, we shall see. That's that's really cool. Yeah. Access. Beautiful. Yeah. Foil access tunnel. Oh, and a pest, Amy. <gasps> I love Anne. <laughs> We're her. Right. 
produced it. Yeah. What? We have a Zimone pack. We already opened Zimone, so now we have her on a pack art as well. Inside of the Zimone pack, we have a Silver Quill Pledge Mage, a Needlethorn Drake, an Archway Commons, a Hunt for Specimens, Defend the Campus again, Waterfall Aerialist again, yeah. a Sudden Breakthrough again, Bayou Groff again, Environmental Sciences is our lesson card. Very cool art on that one. Quintorius! What's up, buddy? It's Quintorius. Field Historian as our first uncommon. Tenured Ink Caster is the second. She has a piano scarf. She has a piano scarf. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Or like a mantle kind of a thing. I don't know if it's a scarf, really. Anyway. Yes, it looks like a piano. I will definitely give you that. And Prismari Apprentice. Yeah. Which means my next rare or mythic is... Yeah, yeah, it is. Crackle with power. Nice. Also on the list, number 13. Ooh. Very, very nice. Okay. I'm I'm feeling doing well. I'm feeling nice. Uh, I will say the um mystical archive cards tend to be a lot more expensive than <laughs> than the uh the regular cards. So it's definitely possible for you to open like two good mystical archives and just blow me out of the water. But you know, I'm wow. I'm I'll stay confident. <laughs> um yeah, the, the Demonic Tutor and the Teferi's Protection alone, uh, yeah, they're very expensive. You yeah. can see those prices right there, right? I mean... The Demonic Tutor's, like, over $37, and the Teferi's Protection's over $24. And the most expensive card, it, there are only two cards over $10 in the regular packs that you can open that are Mystical Archives, so yeah. Anyway, hey, Crackle with Power is cool, and I'm glad to have it. Uh, and it's on the list, so it goes to the side. And speaking of Mystical Archive, my Mystical Archive card is a Tezzeret's Gambit. If this were foil etched, it would count, but otherwise, it does not. I'm sure that's gorgeous in foil. Too. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, the, the like, um, all these, like, things on the side here. Yeah. Really, really nice. Uh, I do have a... <laughs> I have a Mystical Archive card in foil, and it is... A snakeskin veil. Again, I will check it out. Look at that. Look. Snakeskin veil's pretty good. Yeah, it's a very pretty card as well. And in foil, it's even better. Yeah. Very cool. Again, I will put it on the side and check it out. Uh, I am not certain of uh, how it will be, but the snakes. I mean, the snakes in foil. Yeah. Unbelievable. Amazing. So good. Okay. So, hey, Snakeskin Veil in foil. I will leave that on the side to check out uh, in between. And we have a spirit token as well, which, again, has the cool, very cool secret layer yeah. promo on the back. I, I like how they how they did that promotional material. Okay. We have uh, Rutha on this pack from Prismari. God, it's been a while, and I'm really desperately trying to remember their names. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Ruth, I almost forgot. Anyway, we have a Cogwork Archivist to start, another Silver Quill Pledge Mage, a Spectacle Mage, such a cool card. It's a bird, Amy. Don't look. Hey, check out, our, this card. check out our other channels as well, link down in the description, if you want to know why I'm telling Amy uh, to not look at the bird. But uh, I'm glad that you like this card. It's a very good card. Yeah. A Quandrix Campus, Eager First Year, Berry in Books, also a very good card, Tome Shredder, Reckless Amplomancer, A Mage Hunter's Onslaught, good card for limited, Pest Summoning, it's your friend. Yeah. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> I know you love the fat one on the top. You also like this bitey one on the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's not uh, biting for real. He's just playing. He's just playing? Yeah. You yeah. Know, like when a dog nips. Right. He's just playing. Yes. Okay. Well, we have a pest summoning as our lesson. We have Master Symmetrist as my first uncommon. Ooh. I like this card a lot. It's fun. I haven't seen a lot of those. Of these? Yeah. Yeah. I see them in uh, Standard a couple times, mm. just playing around on Arena with my janky ass terrible decks uh we have clever lumamancer and we have practical research i love the art the colors on this card are so vibrant and good yeah um yeah i mean the they're so vibrant and good but then also like there's the contrast of like the very antique page sure look mm -hmm. that they did here and like 
the bookcase in the background having that like old library look. Yeah. Um, so I think that's kind of what makes the vibrant colors look so vibrant. Right, they stand out better, yeah. Yeah, it's it's got that antiqued feel to sure, it. Sure, sure. Um, for the rest of it, basically. Very cool. Uh, and so my next rare or mythic is an elemental expressionist. Again, cool colors, uh, not on the list, but cool colors nonetheless. And my mystical archive. Yeah, that's a pretty cool art. Yeah, very cool. I like this guy. And my mystical archive is an agonizing remorse. Also not on the list. I don't believe there are any on the list non-foil that are uncommon. I don't believe so. But anyway, so here's agonizing remorse. And behind that, just an ad card, which, you know, that's fine, arguably, because it's the first one we've seen. Hey, it's a Quintorius pack. What's up, buddy? You're cool. All right, let's open it up. And inside we have... A teach by example to start. We have a thrilling discovery, another spectacle mage, charge through, hunt for specimens, defend the campus, waterfall aerialist, we're seeing a lot of duplicates, sudden breakthrough, Bayou Graf, introduction to annihilation is my lesson card. I like that lesson. Yeah, it's cool. A show of confidence is the first uncommon. Huh. Containment breach as a lesson is the second. Containment breach. It broke its containment. Oops. And <laughs> Maelstrom Muse is the third. Gorgeous. Yeah, very, very cool. All the Prismari cards are like very colorful and nice. Yeah. Which means my next rare or mythic is... A Quandrix Command, not the command that you want if you're looking for cards on the list. That would be Prismari, uh, but that's fine. Uh, and so my Mystical Archive is a Lightning Helix. Wow. That is on the list. That art is insanely good. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, I will say, out of the 26 Mystical Archive cards on the list, this is number 23, so it is very low on the list. It's less than two dollars but still on the list and i like that behind the lightning helix an inkling token he's so cute <laughs> i'm glad you like him i have four more packs to go we have killian on this one we start with a square up a stonebound mentor i took one away essence infusion but also make your mark don't want to miss that, because since there are available commons, uh, I have to keep track of all of them. Eager First Year, Bury in Books, Tome Shredder, Reckless Amplomancer, Expanded Anatomy is my lesson card for this pack. Nice. Yeah, at least in this one, we're seeing some cards we haven't seen. Kind of. We did see most of those. Yeah. Um, Kelpie. At least that we're not seeing a bunch of repeats. Of. Correct. Kelpie Guide is our first uncommon. Nice. Gorgeous Kelpie Guide. It looks really cool. Uh, closing Statement is the second. I like that one as well. And a Grinning Ignis is the third. I like it. <laughs> it's an elemental. Even though it looks like a goblin, it's an elemental. I like it. <laughs> and my next rare or mythic is an Elite Spellbinder, which is on the list. It's number 15. So I've gotten, what, 11, 13, and 15? That's a nice uh, progression there. I like that. Very cool. Shoutouts to Paolo Vitor Damaderosa. And then behind this, my uh, Mystical Archive is an Infuriate. Nice. Like I said, it's an uncommon, so it's not on the list, but looks really cool. Glad to have it. There's also a foil back here. And it is... A foil common in Silver Quill Pledge Mage. I am almost certain this is not on the list. I will put it aside just to look it up anyway. The magic that she's casting in her hand looks cool in foil. And the text box. Mm -hmm. Or the um, watermark in the text box. But that's about it. From my angle, I can't really tell. Look at it in the camera. I'm trying to. Oh. Okay. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's probably just about that. And that's it. Uh, and then a fractal behind that. Very nice. We have another Dina pack from Witherbloom. I have, uh, like I said, this and two more packs to go after it. 
Um, so we start with another Cogwork Archivist, another Ogyar Battleseer, Quandrix Campus, Star Pupil, Serpentine Curve, very big serpent, Illustrious Historian, Leyline Invocation, a lot of cool. I love this art. Yeah, a lot of cool Quandrix cards in this one so far. Like good looking Quandrix cards. Lash of Malice is a good one. Study Break is fun. Mm -hmm. Basic Conjuration as a rare lesson. Not on the list, but still nice to get. We have a Hall Monitor as our first uncommon. Zephyr Boots and Wormhole Serpent. Ooh, I love this art. You do? Yeah, I feel like I haven't seen this one before. Oh, really? How is that even possible? Yeah, our opponents played this against us plenty of times. Well, they... I guess it looks really different on Arena. Maybe. It's so pretty. You like it? Yeah. And so my next rare or mythic is... A Pestilent Cauldron double-faced card. Not on the list, but I'll still flip it over for all of you. Because on the other side, it is... A restorative burst. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Very cool. Uh, and so that is our rare, like I said, not on the list. And so my uh, mystical archive is a thrill of possibility. Also not on the list. Cool art, nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and behind that, another pest. <laughs> <laughs> Two more packs to go. Zimone on my second to last. Come on. There we go. We start with a Prismari Campus. Do you mind just flipping that over onto the... I threw garbage everywhere. Thank you, I appreciate it. Quandrix Pledge Mage. Lorehold Pledge Mage. Lots of Pledge Mages. A Biblioplex Assistant. Essence Infusion. Sorry, I'll bring that a little bit closer. My bad, everybody. Eager First Year. Barry and Books. Tome Shredder. Reckless Amplomancer. Spirit Summoning is our lesson. Nice. That's one I've seen very infrequently. Sure, that's fair. And it's a beautiful art. Yeah. Uh, Dueling Coach is our first uncommon. Also a beautiful art. It's a fun one, yeah. I haven't seen very much. <laughs> uh, a Humiliate is our second. Another one. And Storm Kiln Artist, which, by the way, on the list. He is so adorable. You like him? I love him. Did I not write... Down the... Oh, I didn't. He's number 34 out of 38. Very cool. I like it. I like it. Uh, so it counts. It's on the list. And so my rare or mythic. Let's see if that one's on the list as well. It is... A Dream Strix. It is not on the list, but it's gorgeous nonetheless. Yeah. It's a bird, though. Yeah. <laughs> but it's an owl. You like owls. Yeah, uh, I like birds and magic. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, behind the Dream Strix, my Mystical Archive card is... A Defiant Strike. Also not on the list, but, I mean, sick art. Yeah. Super sick. Love it. <laughs> okay. Uh, followed by a another stand-in card, and we will move on to the last pack. Oh, and by the way, before we start, I am a fool, and I forgot to show off the D20. The, like, gigantic D20 that comes in the bundles. Look at it. I think it actually looks pretty cool. What do you think? I think it's ugly. <laughs> you, to be fair, right? Now, tell me if I'm if I'm wrong here. Most of the, the big D20s from the bundles that they've been doing recently, you have not liked. Yeah. I think the one in Kaldheim you enjoyed... But so, in your opinion, they they're they're not doing too hot on their yeah like big D twenties. I mean, like the the gold numbering numbers sure is fine, but the t the the, di the die itself yeah the plastic with mm -hmm. like it's like orange with like green swirls. It looks like it a butterscotch. Like, <laughs> I was gonna say it looks like barf. There you go. Sure. Fair enough. It's not a real D20. That, that we'll have to wait for a different set for. But I rolled a six anyway, so that uh, maybe that tells you something. Who knows? But anyway, we'll leave, we'll leave that back there. So yes, like I said, let's go to this final pack with Rutha on it and see what she has in store for us. Whew. And by that I mean for me, because you've got a whole other bundle to go still. Yeah. We have the Lorehold Pledge Mage, the Quandrix Pledge Mage, the Biblioplex Assistant, Mage Hunter's Onslaught, Star Pupil, 
Serpentine Curve, Illustrious Historian, Leyline Invocation. I was so excited when we opened these earlier because it was new, but apparently that's just how you get these cards is from having them all together in this order. Uh, a Fractal Summoning is our lesson. Very pretty. And a cool Quandrix card, because Quandrix is the best and we all know it is. Nope. <laughs> Mortality Spear is our first uncommon. Team Pennant is the second. And Overgrown Arch is the third, which means my possibly final, I mean, we'll, we'll see with Mystical Archives and Foils and whatever, but my Rare or Mythic in the pack is a Strixhaven Stadium. Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't love this card. Like, I think the art is fine. It, it gives a, a huge sense of scale. Right. Um, which is great. That's that's what it was intended to do. But in terms of the abilities of the card or whatever, I'm, I'm not a huge fan. So behind Strixhaven Stadium, my mystical archive is a strategic planning. Uh, cool card, but uh, yeah, not, uh, not on the list. <clears throat> and I think I have a foil. It's my last chance to get anything of value. It is... Huh. A foil lore hold excavation. That's beautiful. It really is. Look at that foiling. Wow. Okay. It's kind of hard to see. That's There's, maybe yeah, a little bit Yeah, I mean, better. it's so dark. There's Look at that background, lot. though. The, like, sky on the left there. But that's the only spot that's foiled. Correct. It's, Correct. It's not great. But the... But, um, I mean, it looks beautiful. Yeah. They, they didn't... They only put the foiling where they thought they should put the foiling. Yeah. You know, yeah. there are other times where you see f where it's almost like the whole card is foiled. Yes. You know, and you're just like, okay, why? Like, yeah. this looks bad. <laughs> There's no contrast. Sure. Like, what the hell? Yeah. This is really pretty. Nice. Really pretty. But uh, I doubt it has value. I will, as uh, of course, look it up. And then behind it, appropriately, because it was a Lorehold Excavation, a Spirit Token, which means that we will be back in a moment and see what Amy gets to open. Okay, and so we are here for Amy's opening. Amy, why don't you go ahead and rip into that thing? As I mentioned earlier, folks, please don't forget that you've already seen the contents of a bundle besides the uh, individual packs themselves, so there's no reason for Amy to show off anything else that is in here. It'll save a little bit of time. Well, fine. I guess I don't have to show off. <laughs> yeah, nobody cares what's in your bundle. God. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's like so dumb. Just get out of here. Yeah, like, exactly. God. Yep. Pretty much. And so then you can pull that stuff out. What do you got? Just the packs, and then that All stuff can go stuff to the side. Put back in. Ain't nobody care about that. You got the same die I did, they're not different, so. It's ugly. <laughs> well, I will happily take both, you know that, Good. so. Because I don't want it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so your first pack has Rutha on it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. I was saying, uh, you're probably not going to have to get much to beat me, but, you know, it's it's something. I had like six <laughs> cards that count, so right. it's not nothing. We have a Prismari Pledge Mage, Rise of Extus. Here, do you want me to get these out of your way for you? Yeah. Clear up a little bit of space for you. Try to be nice. My hand's know. hitting into them. <laughs> uh, we have a Letter of Acceptance. Crushing disappointment. You're getting drastically different commons than I got, which yeah. is slightly unsettling because I did not get the common that was worth any money. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> Ageless Guardian. Uh -huh. A Resculpt. Heated Debate. Good common. I know. Very good card. Big Play. I don't even remember this one. <gasps> Oh, you don't? No. It's because it's not good. No. We, we didn't really use it. <laughs> I may have snuck a peek, but you got your own introduction to prophecy. Yeah. I know you wanted one, so I congrats. Did. There's your lesson card. You have a hall monitor as your first uncommon. Ooh. And I you like your lizards as well. <laughs> I do. You got a Quandrix cultivator, oh, too. Oh, a turtle. A turtle druid. So cool. Yeah. Keep going. You have a wormhole serpent. There yeah, you go. Yeah, I love this one. You it's like so it as well. pretty. Yeah. A vine glimmer snarl Ooh. is your rare, which is certainly on the list. It is number 33, so it's a little low. Uh, it is one stage more expensive, three cents more expensive, than my uncommon storm kiln artist, so doing better. And your uh, mystical archive after, unless you wanted to talk oh. about this one. Sorry. No. Okay. Uh, well, 
I'd love to have this one in foil. Ah, okay. That would be cool. Interesting. You got a grape shot. Ooh. I feel like it's not on the list. I don't think that's a grape. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be all those red lines that are coming out of the like white circle are the grapes that are shooting in all different directions, I think. Uh, and no, Grape Shot is not on the list, which I was a little surprised by, but sure. Yeah, I don't even remember this art, but it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So I'll take it. There you go. So there is your Grape Shot. Ooh, and you have a foil common mm. in Leech Fanatic. I love that. Yeah. It's so nice. <laughs> Check that out, guys. Very foily. Wow. Cool. Leave it on the side just in case, because we will look up any foils, because that you can't write down the pricing of everything. So right, right. I already wrote down 64 cards. Um, but yeah, so we'll leave that on the side, and then you got an ad card as well. What? Which, you know. But this was cool looking. Okay. Well, there you go. That's the Frost Trickster. Oh. That was a common, so... The next no. pack also... No, you don't <laughs> want the Frost Trickster as a common? No, maybe I will. The next pack also has Rutha on it. Boom. Okay, and you start with a Prismari Campus. Ooh. There you go. You like Prismari. Yeah. A Quandrix Pledge Mage. Ah. I love this picture. It's gorgeous. Very cool. Yeah. Because I love me some Merfolk. And I love me some Quandrix. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a Lorehold Pledge Mage. Yeah. You love you some Lorehold. Then you have <laughs> a Vortex Runner. Pretty fun card. Yeah. Ooh, Pigment Storm. Yeah, that You like good. this one, right? There you go. Another one that would be really cool in foil. Probably, yeah, to see all the, the like shots coming down or whatever, mm -hmm. the rain. You have a Tangle Trap. Yeah. Which is basically, this set's Plummet. Plummet. <laughs> which Amy loves. Plummet, if you're guys. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. It's all the love for birds that Amy doesn't have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Specter of the Fens. You're really getting, like, mm. I got none of these cards. I know. None of them. What the heck, So man? weird. Bundles, what the hell? Yeah. Anyway, a Stone Rise Spirit. There you go. I got that one. Yeah. Multiples of that one. Love this art. Yeah. So kicking. It is. Look right. at that. Look at that owl. Jesus. <sighs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's your Frost Trickster. Yeah. You got one. You have an Inkling Summoning. Okay. As your lesson. I know you love Inklings as well. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> there you go. I don't think you would feel it. Do you think you would feel no, it? No, but I think your finger would be quite dirty after you did it. That's true. Hey, uh, your first uncommon <laughs> is a start from scratch Ooh, lesson. I love this art. The Arutha's skin Beautiful. looks really good there. Like that coloring is really awesome. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Sometimes Arena just like doesn't do the arts justice. Yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah. But other time, and but Arena does a good job when the the arts are chosen as like the background art. Yeah. Then That's they look when it's incredible. Really good because they get to blow it up and you get to look at it cl up close. Really good. Your second uncommon is Rutha. Ah. <laughs> Mercurial artist. A lot of Prismari. Yeah, there you go. And your third is a Thunderous Orator. Not a bad card mm -hmm. for limited. Pretty good one. And so your rare or mythic is a Draconic Intervention. Ooh. I'm glad that you got this one because of the colors and the art. It looks really good. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, but it is not on the list <clears throat> regardless. Well, <laughs> fine. But we're going to look at it anyway. Sure. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Love that. Okay. And so your Mystical Archive is a Primal Command. That's beautiful. That is number 17 on the list of Mystical Archive cards that count out of 26. Wow. So very, very good. Okay. And then behind that, uh, your Pest Token. Yay. Good. Good job. <laughs> Look at him. I'm glad you got him. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. You know he would bite your finger off. Look at those no, rows of no, teeth. No. no, no, no. no. <laughs> There's rows He's and rows. So of... cute. <laughs> oh, God. He's so cute. Okay, let's move on to the next pack. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know, folks, Amy has uh, some cards in each set that inevitably, it's not even like a requirement, but inevitably <laughs> she has cards in each set that she refers to as her cuties and... Uh, these pests definitely count as those types yes, of Yes, they do. <laughs> uh, you have Killian on this pack, as we saw. You start with a Biblioplex artist. Oh. Or assistant. It's not an artist at all. No, it's not. Dummy. I'm a dummy. It's a gargoyle. Yeah, it's true. Artist formerly known as. Anyway, 
Uh, next, you have an Infuse with Vitality. Ooh, I love this one. Yeah, it's your girl, Dina. Yeah, she's so cool. <laughs> Followed by a Relic Sloth. Yeah. You like this one? Yes. Good. I want to tickle him, too. Oh, God. He doesn't have much of a chin for you to tickle. No, but his neck, though. His neck, tickle, though? Tickle, it's got, tickle, like, tickle. armor on it. Tickle, 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 tickle. No, he's just holding something right here on the side. Oh. But you could tickle underneath. Oh. I'm sure he'd love that. He probably would. <laughs> okay. God. Hey, you've got a Lorehold canvas. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. Yeah. Then an Expel. Mm. Poor Quintorius. He got expelled. <laughs> then you've got a Burog Befuddler. Yeah, I got frogs, I got turtles, I got pests. And this is a frog wizard, whereas the turtle was a turtle druid. So there you go. Then you have a Pillar Drop Warden. I love him. Yeah, we really like this card in general. He's so cute. Well, you, okay, I did. I don't like him because he's cute. Sure. I like him because he's a 1-5 for 4 with reach and can be used to get instants and sorceries back. So <laughs> that's why I like him. Thank you for Vanna Whiting that card. You're for welcome. Me. <laughs> but mostly tickle, 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 tickle. That's, that's weird. That's, he's made of stone. He would not feel that at all. <laughs> he would like it. Okay, he would like it. Charge through. <laughs> I love this art. It's so vibrant, especially compared to like the other arts in this set. Mm. So I really like this one a lot because it's enough. like it's like unexpected. Okay. And then you have an arrogant poet. Yeah. Gorgeous. Them ink wings. <laughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> Pretty good. Ink wing game is strong. Wow. Speaking of, uh, well, that's kind of, no, it's that's Ash and stuff. But Introduction to Annihilation is your lesson. Mm. Very nice. I know you talked about liking that one, so yeah. there you go. You well, have that one as well. because it's a good card. Yeah, but there you go. Now you have one. Yeah. Your first uncommon is Reconstruct History. Ooh, yes. For you being a fan of Lorehold and all. Yeah. I don't <laughs> love this art, but that's okay. Yeah. I, I love the, I love Lorehold and the fact that, like, they used history to, like, find artifacts and essentially uh, reconstruct them yeah. and sort of bring these spirits back to life enough in order to, like, communicate with them and all kinds of things. Like, like it's said, just so rad. <laughs> yeah, like I said, check out our story reviews. We go in-depth on that uh, when we read the Quintorius Lorehold story. So, yeah, definitely. Quintorius. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's right there. Then we have a show of confidence as your second uncommon. I like that. And a tenured ink caster again as your third. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> that was like, what are you doing? And Playing the piano. Yes, I get it now. And your rare or mythic is... Ooh, very oh. nice. You got Velamachus Lorehold, might I say... Uh, I was going to mention earlier that Uncommon Solve the Equation that I got uh, is number eight, Velomachus Lorehold, number nine. Oh. So you, uh, your Velomachus is slightly less than my Solve the Equation, but your Vine Glimmer Snarl was slightly more than my Storm Kiln Artist, so we're doing pretty well. Okay. So, but hey, nicely done on a Velomachus Lorehold Legendary Elder Dragon Mythic. <laughs> very, very Pretty nice. sick. Yeah. And in a house that I like, or a school that I like, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, and so your Mystical Archive is a negate. Ooh. Not on the list, but cool nonetheless. I love this art, guys. Right? It's so cool. It is very cool. Followed so, by, sorry, keep so talking about it. So was the, you um, the one that you opened... Uh, the, <clears throat> yep, I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> the, I, like, I know what you mean. The, like, but triangle we're married, so. one. <laughs> uh, strategic planning. That's yeah, the, that's what uh, it is. Like, amazing, like, amazing art. <laughs> it's like, come on, guys, you've known Amy for 17 years, right? So you know what she's talking about. <laughs> they totally did. They did. They did. Oh, God. And behind the negate is a spirit token. Nice. Nice. Okay. I love this art so much. The yeah. purple, purple, purple sky, like the royal purple sky. Yeah. And then, like, 
the the statue looks like royalty. Yeah. So it's like if this statue wasn't this color because it's a statue, <laughs> this person in real life would be wearing that color. Sure. You know? Sure. Absolutely. And then the orange against it stands out so nicely. Yeah, it's usually just beautiful. Pur- usually purple and orange, not something that you see, I feel like, as a combo. I know. It's, it's very I good. Know. Very, very good. Contrast is like difficult to come by a lot. In magic hard art mm. and um, and complementary colors is another one. Random unicorn from the oh my <laughs> D&D God, set. Please. The, <laughs> it's, <a color. laughs> it's just all one color with like black outlines occasionally. <laughs> no, they're like beige <laughs> outlines. It's all white with beige outlines. <laughs> no, but yeah, like this kind of coloring. Um, I really love in, in a magic art because, like you said, it's hard to come by. Yeah. Um, and it looks gorgeous. Yeah. It really does. All right. And so your next pack uh, has Zimone on it. Yes. I'm going to create some shadow here while I reach Sorry. across. No, my fault. <gasps> yeah. A crocodile. You've got your moldering Karak. A zombie crocodile. A zombie crocodile. That's right. <laughs> that is correct. So nicely done there. <laughs> Perfect for me. Yes. <laughs> all right, I'm done. I'm done getting all up in your space. <laughs> you have you. a eureka moment as well. She's so cute. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> no, no, those other ones were animals. I'm not going to let you tickle She's Simone so like cute, that. She's so cute, though. She is very cool. She is very cool. Her story as well was great. Yeah, I loved it. Biomathematician. That's awesome. Yeah. Again, quandary cards are cool, huh? Yeah, they actually really are. Sorry, I'll try to I'll try to say that <laughs> both of those words correctly. Quandrix cards are cool though. A lot of k sounds and I couldn't do it. <laughs> you have a twin scroll shaman. Mm. Oh god. Oh look! A scurried colony. Yeah, I love them. You did it. You got a scurred colony. They have rabies, but they're still my friends. I'm gonna ask them to do my bidding. <laughs> then that's not friends. Your friends do your bidding for you? No. <laughs> but these ones will. <laughs> I, I I guess I can't argue with that. Don't 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 do that. Don't do that to people. <laughs> And besides, it's, it's, it, we, we worked really hard on our lighting. You're going to make it a little shadowy over there. <laughs> All right. After Scourge Colony, you have a Lash of Malice. Pretty good card. Yeah. It's a lot of ink. Yes. Well, a lot of excess it's, ink. It's a Lash of ink, so yeah. it's got to be a lot, you know? Yeah. It doesn't look like a Lash so much as like a, a whirly gig. Sure. It's a whirly gig. <laughs> An eager first year. Yeah, she looks eager. Right? Yeah. And happy. She's like, I did a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get A's. Uh, sure. She might not, but she, she did a thing. She tried so hard and got so far. <laughs> In the end, we'll have to see. Next card <laughs> is a Soothsayer Adept. Yeah, see, I didn't see any of these. I saw the Eagle yeah. first year, but I didn't. I, uh, maybe I got one, whatever. Anyway, illustrious historian. You saw this one a bunch of times. I sure did. Only towards <laughs> the end, though. It took a while. And a, your lesson is spirit summoning. Ew. So there you go. Ew. <laughs> your first uncommon <laughs> is a Prismari Apprentice. Yeah, I love this one. Good. I'm glad. So cool. Yeah. Look at that shit. <laughs> oh, they're looking. We, we were talking about, you know, this color scheme being hard to come by it's and gorgeous good. and yeah. what we want to see. So A containment breach. Ooh. I got all these uncommons. Yes, you did. And an academic dispute. Yeah, okay. Those <laughs> uncommons look oddly familiar. Yeah. Uh, and so you're not rare, so uncommon. Your rare or mythic is oh. Kian, Dean of Substance. Okay. She is not on the list, and I will ask you to, when you are ready, lift it up, flip it over, and then show all the people the other side as well. Because you also have Imbraham, Dean of Theory. Yeah, I know Ibrahim's a much better card. Y- no. Than she is. No, I don't think that's... Cr- is that correct? Hold on. Then you may put a card... Y- put a study counter... Hmm. Maybe? 
Well, people, when we played this, well, she's a three-three flyer for, f or it, he's a three-three flyer for four. That's why. Yeah. So yeah, sure. Sorry. So he's a better card than she is, but yeah. she's so pretty though. Yeah. So you know, <laughs> let me show you her again. <laughs> look at her. Just look at her. Yeah. She's so like. Poised. Oh no, you're absolutely right. He is infinitely better than she is. Yeah. I was mixing it up, but yes. Uh, if you don't have multiples, like in limited, when we were playing these, mm -hmm. she does nothing in limited. She's wow. a two two for three, and that's it. <laughs> he is a three three for four with flying, and his abilities are actually relevant. So yes, he's infinitely better than she is. Sorry, go but on. But I just I love <laughs> what she's wearing, and she's so like poised yes. and just like. She just looks like such a graceful, <laughs> elegant person. Yeah. So, I love her. There you go. <laughs> uh, and so, behind her, your mystical archive is a gift of estates. <sighs> Not on the list as well, um, but very, very cool looking card. Yeah. Very cool. It's that color scheme again. I know. Very nice. Yeah. One that we've seen a lot in this set. Um and uh, very few other sets yeah. had this color scheme frequently. Yeah. And behind that, ooh, a Luca Wayward Bonder ooh. emblem as your token. And he doesn't look like Nick from CSI in this picture. <laughs> Only on Arena, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I will say, just for folks who care, I believe I mentioned earlier that there is an emblem that uh, does count and it is not this one. Sorry. Uh, the, the gift of estates doesn't either. The correct. Okay. No, nothing. Nothing from that. Well, one. fuck all. <laughs> I thought that because you extended that <laughs> f out for so long that you were not gonna curse. No, <laughs> like you I, were, did. Like, I did. I <laughs> did. So you were gonna do it and, like try to like find something else. Nah, to say. nah, that ain't me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and because I cursed, I can't open this pack. Yeah. Will you do it? <laughs> Will I do it? Sure. There you go. Because I was going to do the bottom, I started but I know you hate when I open things from the bottom, hey, so... That's like that's like when you opened your popcorn bag from the bottom. I, the I, that didn't, I didn't look. I just <laughs> opened it. That's how badly I wanted the popcorn. Uh, I'm a Quandrix at heart, okay? You can just do that. <laughs> go ahead. You have a Biblioplex oh. Assistant, another Relic Sloth, We'll move through some of the duplicates quickly. And yeah. infuse with vitality again. A defend the campus. Ooh. I got a couple of those during mine, but you did not. I love like how they captured the light here. It's sure. like very I don't know, it looks like there's a window with like curtains drawn or whatever. Where like you it oh, almost lights, looks like, like you're seeping seeing through. Like direct sunlight. Huh. Okay. You know? Sure. Interesting. Very interesting. You have a reject. Oh, I know you love him. I do. I don't know why anyone would reject him. <laughs> He's not a reject. He's my friend. <laughs> I mean, not for nothing, but didn't we have some friends who we could consider to be rejects? <laughs> Maybe. Or not that we would consider, but that other people considered to be rejects. Society considered <laughs> to be rejects. <laughs> Shoutouts to those friends. We love you very much. Uh, <laughs> Twin Scroll Shaman again. Another Scourge colony. There you go. Yeah. They're, they're coming in droves. We're going to have the biggest colony in the world. <laughs> okay. You have another Lash of Malice. An expanded anatomy of your own. Yeah. Very nice. That's your lesson. Your first uncommon is Ether Helix. Yeah. It's so pretty. Right. You have a Kelpie Guide. Yeah. Very nice. This card is... <sighs> Like, so fanciful. Like, so, yeah. like, I don't know. It's it's very, like, fantasy-driven in a way that I feel like a lot of these other cards aren't. Like, okay. a lot of these other arts feel much more realistic than right. this. Right. It's kind of cool. And then a flunk. Oh. God, that purple is so it's purple. It's so purple. Jesus. It almost, it, it, like, makes it difficult to yes. see the person. Agreed, 100%. Agreed. Jesus. Yeah. And so your rare or mythic is 
a hall of oracles. Ooh, I can gorgeous. tell you, because I already looked up my foil hall of oracles, which definitely did not count, <laughs> your non-foil hall of oracles definitely also doesn't count. Well, it's gorgeous <laughs> art nonetheless. Correct. And the foil one was even better than this one, so... <laughs> and your mystical archive card is... Your favorite, it's yeah. Opt. Yeah, I don't really love Opt. It's fine. I know you don't love Opt, but it's also not on the list, so another reason not to love it. But I love this art. Yeah. I love all these arts, I think. <laughs> it looks like you have a foil. You do. Ooh. It's a foil Witherbloom Apprentice. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. That's awesome in foil. You think so? You don't? No. You're not holding it right, I guess. Oh. Tilt it, like... Towards this light, I guess. You're not seeing that? Look at that. On him and on the magic coming out of the bowl. Oh, no, I okay. don't love that. All right, I'm sorry. I do. I think it's I, awesome. Uh, there's, like, not enough definition Okay. there. Like, it, 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 it's just a green blob. Okay. Well, regardless, leave it on the side. We will check it just okay. in case. And you got another ad card. Because, Boo. You, know, you got a Frost Trickster on the back. Boo nuggets. <laughs> you have a Quintorius pack. Quintorius, how could I almost forget your name? I'm so sorry again. <laughs> <sighs> you have a campus guide. Yeah. It's a little co construct golemy thing. He looks like Cogsworth. Kind of. But he's a little bigger than Cogsworth. <laughs> yeah. sure. From Beauty and the Beast. Yep. A cram session. Yeah. I think you like this one. It's a good card. <laughs> you have a Witherbloom campus. I love this art. Yeah. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I want to hang that on my fucking wall. <laughs> a sudden breakthrough. Yes. There you go. Gorgeous again. A spined <gasps> carrock. Yeah, another crocodile. crocodile. Again, I don't know that you want to look at too closely at what it's eating, but... <gasps> My pests. Yes, your pests. No. <laughs> but I loved it. But I loved it. Well, he loves them too because they're delicious to him. Mm. Anyway, on to the I'll next. I'll ignore it because I like him. <laughs> A promising dusk mage. Yeah, this is cool. You like her? I love this art. Yeah. Oh. I feel like I haven't seen it close up enough to like know how much I like it. Okay. So this is nice. All right, fair enough. to see it this well. <laughs> then you have an Expel again. Yeah. Another Barag Befuddler. <laughs> <laughs> and another Pillar Drop Warden. Yeah. Very nice. Which means you have a Fractal Summoning as your lesson. Ooh. Very pretty. I got one as well, but uh, shout-outs to Quandrix. Oh, this up. would probably be a good foil, too. I assume so, yes. Yeah, I can only imagine. Then a Maelstrom Muse is your first uncommon. You talked about how much you like mine. Love it. Go. Very nice. You have a Bookworm <sighs> as your second. He's adorable. <laughs> He's massive. Do you think he gets smart from eating the books? Definitely not. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay. My yes, mistake. you do. My mistake. Yes, you do. <laughs> and your third uncommon is a Test of Talents. Oh, you like that? Damn. Luca versus Kazmina. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And so your rare or mythic is double major. I love this one. Do you? We have seen this art so few times mm -hmm. and I miss it. I think it's freaking fabulous. Well, you're going to be even happier because it's also number 25 on the list. <gasps> Ooh. Because, you know, Quandrix cards are cool. This one is. <laughs> so there, there you go. Leave it on the side because it counts. And it's so, because twins are cool. <laughs> and so your mystical archive is an infuriate. Didn't count for me. Doesn't count for you. But still a cool art. Congrats. That's pretty. Yeah. And then a fractal token. Ah. Very nice. You've got what looks like four packs remaining. So you're just over halfway through. Oh god. Okay. And you've got. Killian on this one. Wow. Nope. Nope. Well, didn't open. <laughs> I don't get to have it. 
God, I was going to say, just don't do that to the top because or the bottom because I will not know how to open it if you do that. We'll have to like struggle with it Ugh, to get the cards this out is of there. awful. I have to go get my knife out of the other room. Ugh, <laughs> God, why? Wow. Well, Ugh. it's because there's probably something very good in there and it wanted to keep it locked up. So <laughs> here's your Eureka moment. Yeah. A Lorehold campus. Getting all your campuses. You got a biomathematician. No, that's just the same campus as I got before. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> you have a field trip. Do you love card. this one. Very good card. Look at that art. Yeah. Uh, I just want to be there. <laughs> I just want to be that it's, person I was standing say this, right there. Again, that sense of scale is insane. It's so big. It's so cool. Yeah. You've got a hunt for specimens. Yeah. With Dina and some Dina. pests. What more could you want? I know. <laughs> I meant I would literally walk into the swamp <laughs> and help Dina find pets. Of course you would. Of course you would. You have a star pupil. A serpentine curve. Mm. You like that one? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Moving on. Not enough contrast, man. All right. Fair enough. It's the it's a problem. <laughs> then you have a first day of class. Yeah. Beautiful. A professor of zoomancy. Nice. <laughs> Haven't seen a lot of him either. It's your bear druid. Yeah. So there you go. More druids for Amy. Nice. Mm -hmm. He's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, God. That is a, a, a distinguished <laughs> professor at a college. You're just like, I'm going to tickle his chin. He's a fluffy bear. <laughs> Uh, I hope he mauls the shit out of him. <laughs> Shut up. He probably would. <laughs> Another inkling summoning for you. Very nice. You have a humiliate as your first uncommon. A grinning ignis. There you go. Yeah. You got one. I love him. <laughs> Good. So cool. I'm glad. He's like, I don't know. He reminds me of like Rakdos. Okay. Not the character Rakdos, but like Rakdos cards. Black red Rakdos yeah, cards. Like yeah, like he sure. just has that kind of feel to him. Like yeah. he would be in that like circus. Yes. Yeah, I agree with that. The circus of blood. Yeah, the like <laughs> very deadly circus. Yeah. And so your third uncommon is an access tunnel. And so your Beautiful. Rare, yeah, wow. it's actually that actually looks better than my foil if it did. <laughs> I won't lie. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, it, cause you can see the detail yeah, better. That, that, those blues are incredible. Yeah. And so your rare or mythic is a strict proctor. I will say that one was close to being on the list, but it is not more than a dollar. Hmm. But it's a cleric. Yeah. And then and it's your a spirit. Yeah, and it's a spirit. Uh, but it with flying and it does fly. There you go. Because spirits ought to fly, it's guys. All that Amy ever wants. And so your mystical archive card is a putrefy, which I believe is on this list. I love Maybe I'm this wrong. art. Am I wrong? Perfect, like storybook art. Yes, exactly. And I am wrong. It is not on the list, but it's very, very cool. Very nice card. Okay. Uh, and then behind that, a treasure token. Yeah, so pretty. Yeah. Okay, you have three packs left to go. Dina, there you go, it's your girl. Yes. Dina's on the first one. Girl, what you doing? <laughs> Finding pests. <laughs> God and damn not, it. And not letting you in her pack. <laughs> That's what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, I deserve that. I deserve it. Yes, you did. Okay. Yes, you did. But she rewards you with Hella from Thor. Yeah. It's Blood Researcher. I love it. Love it. It's Witherbloom <gasps> Pledge Mage. Yeah. It's a tree folk warlock. I love it. <laughs> it's a letter of acceptance. Here you have that. <laughs> and a Prismari Pledge Mage. And an eager first year. A Soothsayer Adept. Eh. Oh, God. An illustrious historian, a field trip, a hunt for specimens, and another introduction to prophecy for you is your lesson. You have a mortality spear as your uncommon. Ooh, that one's cool. So far, like, all your new cards are um, Witherbloom cards. That art's kicking. It's awesome, yeah. 
You have a reflective golem. <gasps> yes. As your second uncommon. I knew you liked that guy as well. <clears throat> yeah. I would expect to see a lot more light coming off of him. Sure. Like I expect to not be able to see him because <laughs> I'd be blinded by the right. reflection but that's it has like to be hitting to, my eyes. Right, but it has to be able to show you what it looks like. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> and your third uncommon is a mage hunter. Yeah. Very cool. Love it. Very cool. Which means your next it's rare a mythic. Spider. It's a horror. It says so. Well, I'm not horrified. It's a spider. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> so your next rare mythic is a fervent mastery. This I is cool. I do not believe that is on the list. So you are good. Take your time and enjoy it. Beautiful art. Yep. Wow. Right? Wow. Very cool. Which means your. Oh, God, it's a divine gambit. Your <laughs> mystical archive card is a divine gambit. <laughs> I, yeah, it's bad. Yeah. It sure but is. Uh, I, I think it's a really cool art. Yeah. So I know you don't love it as much, but I, I like it. Because yeah. um, it's got a real, like, um, coat of arms sort of feel. Sure. Um, so I love it. Good. And then behind it is uh, one of your standing cards for the Blank ass wow. card. Wow. <laughs> you have two packs to go. Zoom in. I I think just assessing it like mentally right now, I think you have to do a little bit more to be able to beat me. Because right now I think I got you beat. So. Okay. Step it up, Amy. <gasps> Another crocodile. You and your moldering Karox over here gotta gotta step it up. Bring yeah. it. Yeah. Bring it's, it. It's it's a campus guide. That one feels thick. The moldering Karox does. Yeah. Interesting. That happens sometimes. Yes, it does. Ooh, another Witherbloom Pledge Mage. Another charge through. Getting a lot of these cards that you enjoyed. Another yeah. arrogant poet. A defend the campus again. A reject again. Or reject. A twin scroll shaman again. You've gotten a lot of those. Yeah. Another scurred colony. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to have the biggest squirrel colony <laughs> this world has ever seen. <laughs> you have an elemental summoning as your lesson. <gasps> There it's Sully. It's Sully. <laughs> well, Monsters, Inc. There you go. So you got your elemental summoning lesson. And this is Adult Boo, I guess. Adult Boo. <laughs> He's very big then for Adult Boo. What? He Sully is very oh. big against okay. what would be Adult Boo. Because Boo like, was not that... Did you think Boo was a boy? No. <laughs> but Boo is not that much smaller than him in the movie, where if she grew to be an adult, he would not be that much bigger than her. Uh, he grew in size and in power. Wow. That's weird. Next, Silver Quill Apprentice is your first uncommon. What? <laughs> Look at how cool that person is. Yeah, they're great. Okay. They're fist pumping. They're fist pumping. They're dancing in the club. Yeah. Hey, you got one of your own dueling coaches as well now. Nice. And a storm kiln artist. Yay! It counts. You I were able love to, him. You were able to uh, to basically negate mine, and uh, well, they'll they'll cancel each other out, but we'll we'll show them regardless at the end when we when we go over who won. But nice, it's on the list. So, so there you go. Fun. Yeah. And so your rare or mythic is oh. Damn it, Amy. Oh, <laughs> no. Amy got the wandering. I have done it. You got the wandering archaic. So I don't know that you've done it definitively yet, uh, but but um, I will say that is the most expensive card so far that's been opened today. That is number five on the list. Wow. I opened that uncommon, which was number eight. So this is uh, the wandering archaic, and then if you would lift it up and flip it over for everybody. On the other side, you have the Explore the Vastlands. Mm. So that counts. It is on the list. Like I said, it's number five. So nicely done. Most expensive card so far open today. I did tell you to step it up right before you started this pack. So you are welcome. Um, I love the like snow and ice coiling. Yes, yes very much so. So cool. It's yes. very um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Ooh, I agree. Okay, like the... Um, that spot in the graveyard where it comes up and swirls. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Sure. This is the Christmas land, though. Oh, there you go, because it's snow. icy. I like it. I appreciate that. <laughs> sure. But okay. Very nicely done. And then your mystical archive card is 
a snakeskin veil. Mm. So again, I checked my foil one and it didn't count. So your non-foil one also doesn't count, but is still a cool card. I love the art. Yes. And so behind it is another ad card. Damn, you Boo got nuggets. a lot of ad cards. Damn. Okay. Hey, uh, like I said, well, this is a Rutha pack for you, your final pack. Like I said, I thought you had to do more. Now it's kind of up in the air, I feel like. I'm I'm a little less certain of my chances. It's Fibble Thip. It is Fibble Thip on this side, yeah. I have one. You have one? <laughs> because I have Fibble Thip. <laughs> uh, I think you're just totally lost. Anyway, why don't you look at your oh, elemental masterpiece? What a good card. Very good card. This is a common? Oh, yeah. It's seven mana. That's why, yeah. you, you know... You would see it a little bit more often, but yeah, you, you have to get a lot of things to make it work when we would get them in limited. Right. But yeah, that wins games. You play one or two of those. I know. Very good. I remember. Yeah. That's why right. I'm surprised it's a common. <laughs> uh, you have an excavated wall. And I think you like this art, but I you know I hate this card. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's a cool art. Yeah. Uh, you've got a Rise of Extus. You know, I love this card. Mm. A An unwilling <gasps> ingredient. Yes, tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> that is a that is a hell of a chin to tickle, yeah. He's a, so cute. It's a big-ass frog. <laughs> I have so many frogs and crocodiles and turtles. And pests. And pests. Yeah. I'm so happy. All of Amy's cuties. I got all the things. Coming together. Then you have a guiding voice. Ooh, this one's cool. It is pretty cool. The card's like fine, but the art is cool. Yeah. You have a waterfall aerialist. Whoa. This is dark. Yeah, all of mine were as well. It's just, I think it's this printing versus arena. So there you go. Yeah. On arena, it's brighter. That's an occasion where it works the other way. Hmm. You have a tome shredder. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's one aggressive wolf. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Wow, mm -hmm. no. Pet, pet, mm, pet. Still no. It's Fine. It's hair is standing on end like that. It is not ready to be petted right now. No, he's a happy dog. Uh, okay. Maybe. Moving on. <laughs> We've got a Bayou Groff. Speaking of a happy, happy dog. dog. There you go. Happy dog. Yes, he's going to eat your pest friend, and you're going to be very upset about it. Uh-huh. Moving, Moving on. on. <gasps> Speaking of pests... Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. tickle, 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 tickle. Oh, my God. Amy's going to feel like she won just from this pack alone. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop tickling the art. Anyway. <laughs> I can't help it. Uh, we've got Look your... at that chin. <laughs> Look at that chin. Pest summoning is your, uh, your lesson for this pack, which means your first uncommon is an overgrown arch. Yes, no, thoughts? Not a fan. Okay, moving on then. Your second is a rip apart. Ooh, yeah. I like that one. Yeah, me too. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> That's real nice. Then a devouring tendrils. Ooh. I knew you'd like that one too, yeah. I love it. It's very good. And so your last rare or mythic is... Your own envi er, environmental, elemental, elemental expressionist. expressionist, which again, still not on the list, but you talked about liking the art. And I so love it. there you go. You have an orc wizard. So cool. Your last mystical archive card is a thrill of possibility, which is also not on the list. I will say I can see that you do have a foil. So you have one more chance at getting something. Okay. Like I said, I'm a little uncertain on on numbers here. I feel like you might have caught up with that um, with that oh, wandering right. archaic. So let's see what your foil is. Let's see if you, you know, cement it a little bit further. I love this art. Okay. Yes, so it's very good. good, right? So I'm yeah. glad you got it then. If you enjoy the art so much, yeah, it's I'm like glad. it's like colored pencil. Yes. Okay. With like pen and ink outlines, just on these pieces though. Not the background. Okay. The background doesn't have the outlines. Right. It's so cool. And so your foil card is a waterfall aerialist common, which is likely not on the list. But again, if you set it to the side, we will be able to look at it. And again, because it is very dark in foil, it is probably not that great. 
It doesn't look that good. I can't really tell, but... It looks good on camera. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I think it... Oh, no, I guess the water swirling around it looks pretty cool. In foil. It's pretty nice. Okay. And then behind the aerialist, you have your final token or whatever is a spirit token. Yeah. I like this card a lot. Yeah. And so that's it. We will and Fibblethip. And Fibblethip, which means you can leave them looking at Fibblethip if you'd like. Okay. Because we are going to be back in just a moment with the results. Guys, look. It's Mike and Sully. <laughs> and Boo. And Boo, yes. Amy wanted to make sure that we all got to see that before uh, we started looking at the rest of these cards. Uh, I will say I had Mike on my side, Amy had Sully on hers, um, but these are both her cards anyway, so there you go. Uh, hey, guess what, everybody? At the end of all of this, we each had six cards that counted towards our total. None of the foils counted for either of us. Yeah. So it was only the cards that we knew were already on the list. No fancy That's alt arts, nice. no borderless. Yeah, it was. Um, and so, hey, this is these are our stacks. The least expensive card that was open today out of that was still more than a dollar <laughs> uh, is this Lightning Helix, which was mine on the left. We also, by the way, each only opened one uh, Mystical Archive card that counted, and mine came up rather early mm -hmm. in this Lightning Helix. So there's that. Followed by both of us had Storm Kiln Artists. So I will... Uh, Move those out of contention. I knocked Amy's stack over because, you know, I knocked my stack over as well because professionalism. Um, <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. That's on me. Uh, hey, then uh, I also had this storm kiln artist. Thank you, Amy. It was all glary. Yeah, <laughs> that will happen. Uh, then the next. So this was something very interesting to me. That was the, the, we're going from least to most expensive, right? So we had one of my cards, then Amy's and my card. Now we have Amy's Vine Glimmer Snarl, followed by Amy's Double Major, followed by, there's Amy's uh, Mystical Archive, because it's followed by Amy's Primal Command. So that's not great three in a row towards the bottom out of your six cards, because we each had six. Right. But then we have my Elite Spellbinder is after that. Okay. Followed by my Crackle with Power. Pretty cool. Followed by my Culling Ritual. Wow. Okay. So three of you, then three for me. Followed by Amy's Velamachus Lorehold, followed by my Solve the Equation, and then finally Amy's Wandering Archaic. Now, I, I believe we've said this before, but this might be the closest battle yeah. we have ever had. I think it actually is. The winner of this battle won by 44 cents. 44 cents. Yep. And if you haven't already, you can, you're more than welcome to leave your guesses in the comments below. But I will say that even with the deficit of having three cards towards the bottom versus my three cards towards the top, thanks to this wandering archaic, Amy has pulled it out and won this battle. Yeah. With a total of seventeen dollars and two cents of value, yeah, and versus my total of sixteen dollars and fifty eight cents of Ooh. value, so so close, so close. <laughs> a difference of forty four cents. Absolutely incredible. Again, the wandering archaic. The reason I say it's thanks to the wandering archaic is because the wandering archaic, compared to myself, the equation is over two dollars more expensive. Wow. So it helped make up for that deficit with right. those three cards at the bottom that like that uh, for you versus my three at the top. So very, very nicely done. Uh, uh, a light round of applause so I don't blow out everybody's eardrums. But there it is. Do it. 
do it. Ah, oh, slam my fists together. Uh, and so, hey, everybody, that is going to be the end of this particular episode. Leave your congratulations for Amy appropriately in the comments down below. Amy, nicely done. Thank you. Uh, it was very close, but that Wandering Archaic uh, really pulled it out. And I'm Trust me, I'm in no way upset. This is great. This was a great battle. I'm super glad that you got the cards that you wanted because, yeah. you know, I think we've we've kind of thrown, like we try to do like the trash talking when we can, <laughs> but you know, we're, we're also coming here, like I'm coming here being like, oh, I'm so happy that you got those cards that you wanted because they're so pretty and like all these other things, you know, yeah, we're here talking about the art and stuff. If you had opened them, I would have just asked you for them and yes. you would have been nice enough to give them to 100% me. 100% happy. We don't, like <laughs> there are pe like couples that uh, collect magic together that talk about like, oh, we blended our collections and blah, blah, blah. And like, we don't technically do that. But if Amy wants a card and I have it, she almost always gets it. Like, that's just <laughs> not because well, like because she breaks me down, but because I'm happy to give her whatever right. she wants. Like, well, because I never <laughs> want like the most expensive card. No. I always want the one with the cool art, that's the common <laughs> that everyone hates because it sucks in gameplay. <laughs> like, that's the one I want. Yeah. And that's totally fine. That's just how we do things. But yeah. hey, if you like what you saw here today, please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell, as I mentioned earlier. It really helps us out a lot, but it also helps you out a lot because you will find out exactly when all of our videos come out and whenever we go live on stream. Ooh. Because we stream every Monday and Friday, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on this channel. Yes, we do. So if you are here the day this video came out, we'll be streaming tonight. And on Mondays, we stream Magic the Gathering Arena. Yeah! So if you are a fan of Magic the Gathering, even if you're not, you should definitely just come out and say hi. You're always welcome to say hello in chat. We would love to hear from you. And then Fridays, we play video games. Uh, we are finishing up soon, not this week, but soon we will be finishing up our playthrough of... Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3, yeah, which is the sixth and final game in the series that we have been tackling, uh, and so we hope that you will join us for that as well. Hey, we have other channels you can check down in the description box below uh, for video games for all and gluten-free for all. We really do appreciate if you would check those out, and hey, if you're interested, subscribe to those too. Yeah. But for now, from us here at the Geek for All family of channels, I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. Any thoughts that you might have about this video, the openings, the cards that we got, etc., uh, the, the battle, whatever you want to tell us, we would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and share. Super helpful to us as well, and we really do appreciate it. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.